Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. I have a feeling I'm going to have quite a few different news videos throughout this weekend when it comes to new Mattel information, but as I did yesterday, I have a little bit more Mattel info for you guys. A few things that I actually missed that were announced yesterday, and uh, just in general, a few little tidbits of info on some upcoming figures that we haven't seen too much about. One thing I do want to touch on that I haven't actually in the past is new LEGO figures. Thanks to Paul Kirby Nation, who is a viewer of the channel, for pointing them out to me. There were a few new LEGO sets that were announced recently to go with the animated miniseries that will be coming out, which I am really excited for from LEGO. As far as the Jurassic World Legend of Isla Nublar series, it's a 13-part miniseries that will be coming out later in the year. But with that set, they will be releasing new LEGO figures, and one set is called the Dilophosaurus on the Loose. And you can see that it does have quite a few different accessories and human characters, and of course a Dilophosaurus itself, which looks really quite cool. There is also a Baryonyx Face-Off, the Treasure Hunt set, and that Baryonyx actually looks really quite awesome. But you can again see that, as usual with LEGO, there is lots to be included in this set. One thing I will say that's a little strange about this Baryonyx LEGO set is the fact that it appears as though the Baryonyx has a sickle claw similar to a Velociraptor, and I really have no idea why, but aside from that, it does still look really quite awesome. A Triceratops Escape set, which also looks just as cool. I really like the look of the Triceratops, and the overall paint scheme is actually kind of nice on it. Definitely dig that, so another very cool LEGO set. And then there is also the T-Rex vs. Dino Mech Battle set, and uh, you can see that there is a mechanized Tyrannosaurus, I guess that faces off against the real Tyrannosaurus. So, plenty of LEGO sets will be coming out in the very near future from LEGO and Jurassic World. But on top of all of that, there were a few more announcements yesterday that I didn't really cover on my channel. And I took a few screenshots from a video on the YouTube channel Family Gamer TV. So, uh, it's the only place that I really could find any type of video of them. So, I took a few screenshots. So, all of these pictures uh credit goes to them for the pictures but we will also be getting a primal pal blue it's uh, obviously based more at children but i think it could make a very cool baby blue if someone decided to take it as that or maybe give it a repaint or something like that it honestly looks interesting i don't know if it's really something that i'll be picking up uh knowing me i'm kind of a sucker for jurassic world so if i do happen to see it i probably will buy it but again it's something that seems to be aimed more at children than uh potential collectors like myself but again, it's still really quite cool looking. It has glass eyes, I believe they said, or plastic eyes, something like that, to really give it a little bit more of a lifelike look. So I definitely think that that's a very cool addition. And it's really not a bad looking figure. I also wanted to point out this image here that I took of Blue with his mouth closed. This is the super colossal Blue that they will be coming out with. And I just wanted to say how darn nice the sculpt looks and everything on this super colossal blue because with the mouth closed you can really get a good idea of what the head sculpt looks like and i think it just looks fantastic definitely the best blue figure that we have from any of the mattel figures so far and i really like the eye paint look at the eye paint that just looks super nice compared to what we were getting previously so i'm really excited for this figure there's also these little tiny mini figures that are called the Snap Squad Assortment. And as you can see that they have quite a few to choose from, or all of them, I guess, if you want to be like me, because I will probably buy all of them. But uh, you can see there's an Indoraptor, an Indominus, a few different Velociraptors, a few different Dilophosaurus, a few different Tyrannosaurus Rex, and even a Carnotaurus in there. I don't really know for sure if there are others. Uh, I can't really see from my images that I took here. But uh, regardless, there's plenty of species to choose from, and they do really look quite cool. You can also see that if you push down on the little lever on the back of the head, you can open their mouth. And they do have fairly strong jaws, as you can see from this image, showing that they can hang on to things. So, these will be pretty cool little minifigures, and uh, something I'm quite interested to see. I will probably buy all of them, because again, I am a sucker for Jurassic World. We also now have an image of the back of the Indominus Rex's box, which looks really quite cool. And when you get a nice closer shot here, you can see uh, little demonstrations of all the action features of the Indominus. Again, showing that its throat lights up and it can swallow figures for the most part, depending on the size 
of course. But pretty much lining up all of the uh, action features with that description that we got a while back from the Walmart website of the Indominus Rex. So those action features with the light up throat and everything do follow through with the figure. And the last thing that I do want to point out here is a little bit of information coming out about future figures. They haven't actually teased us with images of them or anything yet, but at least it's confirmation basically for me on the Nasuto Ceratops. But you can see that there is Quetzalcoatlus' main colors will be red and blue. The Amargosaurus will be tan with a blue frill and red spikes. And the Nasuto Ceratops and Allosaurus are going to be first showcased in a trailer that plays before the new Fast and Furious movie. Which is interesting because now I want to go see that movie just to see that trailer. And the Indominus Rex's neck is a hard plastic, not a rubbery type real feel like I would have liked. But again... It's still pretty darn awesome. So for now, that is all the information I have, but who knows how much more will be coming out this weekend, as I may have numerous more videos for you guys, again, depending on what Mattel actually gives us throughout the weekend. As always, what do you guys think? Please leave some comments and like, and please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.